Needles to address any soft tissue or joint related pain, whether it's your back, neck, knee, foot, ankle, doesn't matter. Come see me, Garrett Pipe, Smart Physical Therapy. We are located at 1251 South First Street, next door to David O. Keith Storage Buildings. Please call Smart Physical Therapy at 912 559 2071 and ask for me, Garrett Pye. Again, the phone number is 912 559 2071. And remember, it's your choice on which facility you choose. So call or come by Smart Physical Therapy today. Smart Physical Therapy, located in Jessup at 1251 South First Street. Give them a call at 912 559 2071. WIFO 105.5 FM Jessup, Big Dog Country. Hi, this is Marcus Peden with Sonic Drive-In and inviting you for our quarter pound Sonic cheeseburgers for $2 every Tuesday. And also come see us every night, Monday through Thursday from 5 to close for our boneless wings. Buy one, get one free. Flavors ranging from garlic parmesan to the mild all the way up to the extreme heat with hot honey and pineapple habanero. And don't forget our $1.49 large iced coffees every morning on your morning drink stop. So take your Green Mountain coffee however you like it. Thank you and have a blessed day. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lassie's Body Shop, family owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lassie's Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rainier Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lassie's Body Shop. Are you thinking of selling your home or business? Hi, I'm Gloria, and as a realtor, I know that getting rid of the clutter in your home is one of the best ways to help sell your house quickly. At Jessup Premium Storage, our family-owned company provides a convenient and secure building for all of your storage needs. We now offer outdoor covered parking for that antique car, boat, or RV. Due to our recent expansion, we offer units that range in size from as small as a bedroom closet to as big as a one-car garage. All of our units are inside and climate controlled with 24-hour access and security. Our leases run month to month, so you're not locked into a long-term commitment, giving you the flexibility to move your belongings out the minute you purchase your new home. Stop by today or give us a call, 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool, clean, east kit. Model year and closeout continues at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear. Get top dollar for your trade and up to 10000 off remaining 2016 F-150s. We're overstocked on new vehicles and we need your trade in now. Tons of vehicles below cost. 0% for 72 months on most remaining 2016s. Plus, the only 2017 Super Duties are in stock and ready to drive home today. Come see them at Mike Birch Ford or 24-7 at MikeBirchFordBlackshear.com. It's model year and closeout time at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear. We're overstocked on new vehicles and we need your trade. Huge savings and top dollar for your trade, plus up to $10,000 off remaining 2016 F-150. Selection's great. Many vehicles are below cost. Focus, Fusion, Escape, Flex, Explorer, and more. Plus our free lifetime powertrain warranty on all new vehicles. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. 912-449-4446. 0% of the credit on select models. See you for details. All right, two minutes. It's after 8 o'clock. You're listening to The Big Dog, WIFO-FM in Jessup, 105.5. Your FM dial. It is a Thursday morning, the third day of November. And Butch Hubbard here with you early on this uh, kind of a cloudy Thursday morning, but becoming partly sunny today. High today of 82. Cooling down this weekend. And that's nice to hear. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 40s over the weekend. The Audubon Hubbard is 1.5 feet and steady. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Mike Merch Ford and Black Shear by Jessup Premium out here on the Way Cross Highway and by Sonic Restaurant on South First Street, and also brought to you by Lysi's Body Shop on Rainier Road. Well, Bob, we got a we got a studio full of lovely women this morning. What are we talking about? There must be something going on when it comes to pies, because <laughs> it's the more series. <laughs> and we got we got uh, Tanya Riddle, Monica Quinn, uh, Melissa Lamb in here this morning to talk all about it. So who wants to go first this morning? 
All right, go ahead. Good morning. Thank you guys again for having us on. We certainly appreciate you guys allowing us to come and talk about the More Series Luncheon that is set for next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday, November the 10th. All right, one week away. One week. It's at Coastal Pines Technical College, and its purpose is to raise money for scholarships for students at Coastal Pines, specifically in the culinary department and cosmetology school. Okay. Have y'all been on here before? You've got an exciting speaker coming in. It's got local roots. Absolutely. Suzanne Dukes LaRue, um, who was raised here, her father there is Ashley Dukes. She will be speaking on reinventing yourself. Um, as we've talked before, she is quite amazing. She was an attorney, but she created her own line of skincare products. And fast forward eight years, she has a manufacturing facility on St. Simons Island. She sells her right. products across the country. Um, just fabulous. And so we're very pleased to have her coming and speaking to our So no, making up, no more making up in her kitchen anymore. She actually has a manufacturing facility their own St. Simons yes with all the uh, experts there putting it all together packing it up and send it out right exactly and she is only one of 10 uh, manufacturing facilities that is eco -cert certified in the country and the only one in the state of georgia so what started in her kitchen with a blender has now grown this large which is quite amazing and that's quite a success story right there i mean you think you know first goes through six years of education at least to become an attorney and yes. have that successful practice going and so you know i've got a little calling somewhere else and and she's Follow that passion and now do it very successful in her new career, uh, putting out the new line of skincare products. And is it also makeup too or just skincare products? Skincare products. Okay. For, and it's um, One Love Organics. If anybody would like to take a look at her website, OneLoveOrganics.com, um, there's great information there. Um, she's given a grand prize for us um, to give away that day, a basket full of all of her products, which is phenomenal. Um, and we have lots of other door prizes and things we can talk about too, but we're just very excited about her. You know, so many Wayne County folks that have grown up here and gone to be successful, and she's just one of many. We're so proud to have her coming back for this. Okay, OneLoveOrganics.com. Yes. Dot com. Dot com. Okay, and there's going to be, she's going to be speaking, there's also going to be a uh, 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 food luncheon, right? Absolutely, great food, a wonderful menu we have prepared, and so we're expecting close to 300 people. There are limited tickets available, so we really want to encourage anyone who's not bought their table yet or individual tickets to please let us know. Um, those can be purchased at the Coastal Pines College Bookstore or from any committee member. They can give us a call, we'll be happy to hand deliver them to them if they would like us to do so. Sounds good. And the hours on it once again for next Thursday. Monica, you want to go Monica, over the schedule? Sure. We're going to open the Moore Marketplace at 10 a.m. and the Marketplace will be open until 12. We'll open the doors to the luncheon at 11.45. We'll begin the program at 12 and it will continue until 1.30 and then we will have the Moore Marketplace open again from 1.30 until 2. Okay, sounds good. And it's all going to be in the Polytech Center there at this uh, college, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and that's next Thursday. And if a person wanted to go ahead and get their tickets in advance, how do they do that? They can call any committee member or they can come to the college and come to the um, bookstore, the college store. Um, and um, we'll be glad to bring them to them or they can buy them at the, at the college. Okay, sounds good. What's happening? Okay. All right. And we've also got uh, Melissa Lamon here. What is your involvement with the Moore's uh, Moore series? Melissa? Well, um, I've mainly helped maintain like the listing of the sponsors and the um, door prizes and the vendors. But we've all had a lot of involvement um, with everything, like everyone on the committee has been involved in asking for sponsorships and door prizes. and. Um, we've all had input on the food, um, the decorating, and the organization of the whole event. So, okay. All right. Who are some of the sponsors? Who are your sponsors? We want to give them air time this morning because if they're going to fork out the bucks, let's give them the recognition. Okay. Um, we have a gold sponsor this year, and that's the Wayne County Board of Tourism. Um, we have three silver sponsors for the Love of Yogurt, um, Kruger International, and Ms. Harris, and Sybil's Restaurant. Um, three bronze sponsors we have are Prime South Bank, Rainier, and Leah Jones. We have many table sponsors. Um, okay. Can we go over all? Sure. Okay. Um, we have the the college as a table sponsor. Leah Jones is also a table sponsor. Patty Martin, um, Wayne Drugs, Wayne County Magazine, Bennett and Lindsay, Dr. Jeffrey Harris, the Sunday Book Club. The Industrial Development Authority, Wayne Memorial Hospital, the Wayne County Chamber, 
the Wayne County Retired Teachers Association, Peggy Riggins, Piggly Wiggly, Broadway Direct, um, Monica O'Quinn, Bone and Joint, Boykin Erectors, the Odom Garden Club, and the Junior League. They're all table sponsors. Okay. And then we also have some patrons, um, Kelly Krill of Mason Incorporated, Ginger Adams, and Helen Averly. And um, for our door prizes, we have, um, who's donated, Best Kept Secret, the um, Coastal Pines Technical College Horticultural Program, Ron Hart and Sons, Bennett Jewelers, the Massage Cottage, Jessup Tire Shop, Southside Automotive, Mine and Yours, Merle Norman, Mary Harder, Georgia Dermatology, and Crawford Jewelers. And um, then for the vendors that are going to be there selling items. Right. Before and after the event. Right. Yes, sir. That includes all occasions, gift baskets and flowers, Southern Charm and Elegance, um, Chastity Geiger, um, the Coastal Pines Technical College College Store, and the Coastal Pines Technical College Cosmetology Class. Um, designs by Deidre, Prissy Hen, Web Electronics, Jenny Johnson, he'll be selling 31 items, Mary's Bouquet, One Love Organics, and Wayne County Magazine. Okay, all that uh, door prices and the sponsors, the table sponsors there at the Moore's Luncheon next Thursday at Coastal Pines Technical College in the studio with us this morning. Good morning is Monica Quinn, Melissa Lamb, and Connie Riddle talking about it. These uh, ladies have been working very hard on this event as a fundraiser for scholarships there at Coastal Pines Technical College. Monica, what else? We, um, excuse me, we also have three silent auction items, which will be the Robert Graham uh, Johnson leather um, backpack. We have the um, Anna Griffin um, luggage set, which is the three piece set. And we also have a Tiffany bracelet. A Tiffany bracelet. All right. Sounds good. Got some great silent auction items right there. How'd you get a Tiffany bracelet? We have connections. Have connections. All right. Connections. Like to hear that. All right. Connie, what else is going on with the event? Move that mic on back around there. There you go. Well, you know, it's just an exciting time. There's nothing better that we, you know, there are a lot of great organizations to support, but our technical college is so important to the community and providing these scholarships to our students. Um, the job placement from the college is what, 99%, you know, once, Isn't that amazing? it's incredible. And I just think that, you know, if people are looking to support a very worthy cause, um, coming to this event, purchasing their ticket, being a table sponsor is a great way to do that. Um, and also, it's a great shopping opportunity. The holidays are right here among us, just eight weeks from Christmas. So people can come and get some early Christmas shopping done for Wayne County folks, um, stores, and people here. So I can just encourage everyone to come and get a ticket, come do some early shopping for the holidays, come here, an incredible speaker, Suzanne Dukes LaRue, uh, and support our local um, technical college. Great event, great calls, good time for all the folks who are going to be there next Thursday. And once again, let's go over those hours, Monica. The Moore Marketplace will open at 10 a.m. and will remain open until 12. The doors will open to the luncheon at 1145. The luncheon itself will take place from 12 until 130. And then the Moore Marketplace will open again from 130 until 2. Okay. And tickets are available at the bookstore at Coastal Pines Technical College here in Jessup for many, uh, many member. And how much are individual tickets and how much are table sponsorships? Individual tickets are $40. A patron ticket is $50. Table sponsors are $300. Okay. And how many sit at a table? There are eight people at a table. Okay. All right. Connie? Oh, and I just want to um, give a big thank you to the committee that's been working on this. We've been meeting for several months now, and um, Monica and, of course, Melissa have done a tremendous amount. Melissa undersold herself there when she was, when you asked what all she has done for this committee and Monica. <laughs> they've just been a huge asset, as well as all the other committee members. So I just wanted to personally thank each of them for their involvement, their dedication, and commitment. Yeah, some of this event. just doesn't happen. It no, takes, it doesn't. You know, it takes months of advanced planning, getting the speaker, getting the sponsors, getting everything set up. It's a lot of work that goes into it. 
all that volunteer work by y'all just to raise funds for scholarships at the Coastal Pines Technical College. So hats off to y'all. Big shout out to all of y'all who are doing this. Melissa wants to talk again. Well, I just wanted to thank Connie Riddle for all she's done. She's been the chair of our committee and she's done a fabulous job and we really appreciate everything she's put into this event. Thank you, Connie. Okay. All right, Monica. And Connie mentioned that the scholarships will benefit cosmetology students and culinary arts students. And right now we don't have a culinary arts program on the Jessup campus, but we are planning an addition to the Polytech Center for the culinary arts program. More building? More building. More in addition, building. In, addition, All right. in addition to the Polytechnical Center to house the um, culinary arts program, and that should be complete within the next two years. Great. Do they have that available at the other campuses for Coastal Pines? We have it available in Go at Golden Isles campus on a uh, part-time basis. Okay. Now, when folks, when that happens, uh, just in my curiosity, what will people be able to do with a degree or certificate on culinary arts from uh, Coastal Pines when it happens? There are different certificates um, in that program, such as food service worker. But I think everybody's dream is to own their own restaurant <laughs> and to be a top-rated chef in a top-rated restaurant. All right. Well, Bob and I just want to be top-rated customers. <laughs> we just want to go partake of it. We don't want to cook it. All right, ladies, anything else that you want to talk about about the Moore series for next Thursday? No, thank you very much for having us, and we want to thank the community for all of their support for this program. All right. Y'all ladies have a great day and a great banquet next um, Thursday, okay? Thank you very much. All right, 105.5. Bob, do you have anything else for him? Nope. All right, Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM in Jessup, and we'll be back with more of the Butcher Bob Show in a minute. Have you seen it? Have you been in there? The new Jessup Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly is still celebrating their grand opening here in Jessup with fantastic specials. Fresh ground beef, just $1.68 a pound. Chicken drumsticks with thighs, 68 cents a pound. Whole bone and pork loin, $1.28 a pound, and pork spare ribs, $1.68 a pound. Also save on these grand opening specials at your all-new Jessup Piggly Wiggly. Get five two-liter bottles of Coca-Cola soft drinks for just $5, and that includes all flavors. Piggly Wiggly Sugar, the four-pound bag, $1.88. Whole chickens, 98 cents a pound, and red delicious apples, the five-pound bag, only $4.99. Make sure you sign up for your Piggly Wiggly card for even more savings and register to win the great grand opening prizes. Open from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. seven days a week. Your new, all new Jessup Piggly Wiggly, 440 West Cherry Street. Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM in Jessup, 16 minutes after 8 o'clock on this Thursday morning. It is the third day, third day of uh, November. And Bob, uh, <clears throat> you said you stayed up. All the way to the end of the ball game last night for an historic extra innings World Series between two teams that have been just begging and dying to get another World Series victory. And the Cubbies did it. I had to watch it. I said historic event. Game sevens don't happen very often, but this was a classic. But when that rain delay, I was like, please, not a rain delay. The last thing I was expecting was a rain delay. But How long did that last? 18 minutes. It looked like oh, only 18 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't that long. So but then extra was, innings, stuff like that. You know, one extra inning. One extra inning. Went to the 10th, and Cubs broke it open. But it was just a fun game to watch. A lot of question you know, what the manager was doing. You know, they took out Hendricks when he was rolling, brought in Lester. And Indians came back. They hit the two-run home run in the eighth to tie it, 6-6. And set the extra innings. Chapman's crying in the dugout. And it was just a, it was just a wild and crazy game. But it was just fun to watch. But I'm excited to see the Cubs finally in the curse win the World Series and get that ring. You can just see the joy in those guys' faces and the city of Chicago. They get flashing back to that place right outside Wrigley Field. They had thousands of people oh, yeah. on the streets. So the not, or, not much work will get done in Chicago today. Or it's for the Cup fans. Yeah. Yeah. John Small said the best. Bosses, uh, be lenient with your employees because they're <laughs> probably won't show up to work. <laughs> uh, Some of them are probably still partying. There's probably not going to be much production done at the workplace today. No. But it was a great game. You know, I say it could have went either way. But fortunately, Chicago, you know, a lot of those people I think will pull for Chicago to break the curse and win that ball game. But to come back from 3-1 deficit. Cleveland fans have got to be just like, we were up 3-1. We're just one victory away. And they lost three games in a row. The Cubs won those three games, and what a, what a World Series. That, that was great for baseball. Baseball needed something like this, you know? This is one they said they're probably the most watched baseball game in the last 25 years. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, the baseball, you usually every single year uh, during the World Series, the um, 
uh, Thursday night game or whatever uh, games they have on NFL, those those games actually beat the um, uh, World Series in ratings, which is amazing because the World Series is the World Series. It's not just a regular uh, game. Uh, but this year, the World Series games have been beating the NFL games in ratings. The country music awards were last night, which were live in Nashville. But yep. I was interested every time they, that presenter would come on, they'd give an update on the score. But yes, yeah, I saw that. They said it was being streamlined. They said most people had uh, devices underneath their seats were watching the game. Was the, was the seat the was <laughs> so they were they were in tune to what was going on in the ball game. That was a great, great the country music awards last night. Uh, they're um, honoring the legends and the folks who really started the country music movement way back and all the winners through the years. And so you know, you got to hear the, the old classic music and see some of those old classic uh, uh, stars and uh, either living or dead. And then, of course, you had the, the new artists there being honored also. But just a great, great um, Academy Awards, I mean, Academy, uh, Country Music Awards last night. They had all the stars there for sure. And, uh, could see Dolly Parton get the Willie Nelson Award. Yep. In the show, Kenny Chesney took home the Pioneer Award. Only given away three times. Peyton Manning was on hand to give his friend Kenny Chesney. Yeah, yeah, that was great. He's the only person that Peyton Manning sing on stage. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they're good friends, both from Tennessee. So. So, but it was good to see Kenny Chesney get that award last night from Peyton Manning. Yeah, just a great, great um, uh, award last night. I didn't get to see all of it. It started right there in the middle of the opening uh, number, and I hit record because I knew I wouldn't be staying up that late. So I plan on watching the rest of it I didn't get to see um, maybe tonight. Kerry Underwood looking as fine as ever. Oh, looking fine, 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 fine. That's pretty well said. I'll never forget that live concert in Dallas. We went out to Super Bowl when she did that concert. Mm -hmm. was Still a great thrill. That was a great concert. Yeah, she puts on a great show. Yep, just a great, a great performance last night for the um, uh, Country Music Awards last night. And if you didn't get a chance to see it, I'm sure that Country Music Television or somebody will have it on again. If you didn't record it, uh, someone said the Dixie Chicks rocked. I think the Dixie Chicks. I didn't even know they were still performing. Dixie Chicks and Beyonce did a, yeah. a, a, a number, didn't they? Right. And they're, they're both talking about how this, that was the highlight of the show last night. It was a good show. Yeah. It's good to see Dixie Chicks back. Like I said, I like the Dixie Chicks. Yeah, yeah I, I had no idea. They haven't put out any music that I, that I know of in many years. I guess they're just performing around the country. I love that song about Earl. Yeah, the Earl song in that video was very funny. <laughs> so, uh, but they were there. I mean, they had everybody. I mean, if you everybody was there, it was yeah. just unbelievable how that show started. And yeah, it was. It was. was. I mean, it was definitely, you know, it was the 50th anniversary of the CMA Awards, and they just had just about everybody there. Garth Brooks took home Entertainer of the Year. Yeah, isn't that amazing? He did that many years ago, and now got it again. Uh, I had a chance to see Garth a couple of years ago uh, down in Jacksonville when he performed down there, and the concert was just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Chris, uh, Garth, I'm going to see. I'm trying to think you got Oh, yeah, Mel Vinkless went to Chris Stapleton. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. Yeah. I was hoping the new artist award, which usually be used to be the Horizon Award, I was hoping that would go to Coach Cole Swindell, but it didn't. And because uh, you know he's right here, there's a lot of uh, a lot of Georgia talent that was there up on that stage from, from the state of Georgia, and that was good. It was good to see um, Randy Travis been fighting back from a stroke, and he's he's doing. He was able to sing the Amen up there during that song. Yeah, it was just good to see him on the beat. I just I didn't realize he had a stroke. I yeah. said I just I could tell he wasn't singing, and all of a sudden he sang the last. Yeah, he had a stroke. Yeah. And, uh, been in the, out of the web for a while now. So just a great, a uh, great country music awards last night. A uh, great uh, seventh game of the World Series uh, and extra innings. I mean, you could have scripted any better, Bob. It's just too good events. Get your mind off the politics. <laughs> <laughs> no, wouldn't it great? I like. It, it, they they were talking about beforehand. They were going to try to you know they were you know. If you, you know, they weren't going to get real political or anything, you know, not like uh, the, the Rock Awards. They'll get up there and, and down people, they'll down parties, they'll down candidates, they'll down politicians on the Rock Awards. But on the Country Awards, you know, they were, ju they were just kind of uh, making fun of the whole thing. It wasn't any particular person uh, ever so often. So it was just a, a minor touch on it, uh, but no bad jabs or no downing anybody. They're true, red, white, and blue. They love America. Yeah. They, love, they love the troops. So, you know, just 
good people. I wish they get music. It was, just a, it was a great show. You'll have the Rock Awards, one of the Rock Awards. I'm not sure which one is come up later in November. It'll be a whole different different atmosphere. This makes me proud that we play country music right here on 105.5 FM. All right, uh, Thursday night football tonight. Falcons down there at Tampa Bay, a team they always seem to have trouble with. Well, they lost the first game to this season, so a little revenge game for the Falcons. Falcons are playing well again as Matt Ryan's having. I said they were talking about who's in line for MVP at this point in the season. Matt Ryan comes in third in the voting, so he's having a phenomenal year quarterback, and hopefully he can continue to play well and get a big win tonight. They're five and three. Win tonight gets them six and three. You know, normally if you win ten games, you're Locked into the playoffs, so hopefully the Falcons can get that win tonight. And it's just interesting to see. They've talked about it all season long. It's hard for those NFL players to play Sunday and then bounce back and play Thursday. So I think there should be no Thursday night games. Let's just see, you know, what their body can right. maintain and sustain. So, but again, the Falcons, big win for them tonight if they can get it. I said hopefully they can get a win on the road and go to six and three. But they're having a good year. Yeah, well, they'll play Thursday night, and then they don't play again for 10 more days later, so I guess they'll give them a chance to, to heal up a little bit. And I came off, they're coming off that big, exciting win over Green Bay, so you hope they keep the momentum. You'd hate to see them yeah, win that yeah. game and then turn around and lose to Tampa for the second time. So, yeah. Yeah. so they always seem to have, have problems with, with, with the with Tampa Bay. Thursday night football, the yeah. NFL. I know this weekend we got Tech at North Carolina Southern going to Ole Miss. That'll be interesting. Yeah, it'll be there, and it's going to be a 12 o'clock kickoff, which is absolutely amazing that you're going to have Central Time with a 12 o'clock kickoff. That's TV. That's 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 TV. TV. It's all wrapped around TV. These people don't get to set whatever times they want, whatever time television executives say, well, this is the time your game's going to be. But we'll have the game, the Southern game for you right here on 105.5 FM. Pre-game begins at 10 a.m. Saturday morning, kickoff at 12 noon. Georgia Southern at Ole Miss. You can hear it right here on your Georgia Southern football radio station in Southeast Georgia, WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup. And uh, in Tech, I think they're doing something this weekend, aren't they? Um, North Carolina. Yep, yeah, at North Carolina. Uh, they'll be at North Carolina taking them to Tar Heels. We'll have that game for you on our sister station, Fox Sports Radio, 1370 AM. The Buzz, WLOP. Pre-game at 1030 on Saturday morning, kickoff at 1230 Georgia Tech at North Carolina. And where and where are the Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars going this weekend to lose? I mean, they'll play a football game. You're going to lose to Kansas City. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> That's where they're going. That's right. They're going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. That's where the uh, Jaguars are going this weekend to play, uh, taking on Kansas City. And um, that game can be heard on our AM station, Fox Sports Radio 1370 AM, The Buzz. And kickoffs at 1 o'clock. Unfortunately, because Bradley's days are numbered as head coach. I said, nice guy, but 14 and 42, it's time to make it change. So he's not going to survive. It's already handwriting's on the wall. He'll be going at the end of the season. You know, a lot of folks like the, to watch that Fox NFL Sunday with uh, Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long, Coach Johnson, you know, the whole game there. Uh, that's my favorite pregame show. And But we carry the audio of that on our AM station, which is Fox Sports. Our AM is Fox Sports. Uh, between 12 and 1, so if you're out and about getting out of church, doing whatever your case may be, you can listen to um, Terry Bradshaw, how long the game's between, uh, in the game between 10 and 1 on AM 1370 every single Sunday during football season. Just want to let folks know that. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Anything else going on, Bob? But today is day for Wayne. You and I will be heading out there soon to, to mingle with state officials. Yep. Always fun. I said, looking forward to the food. 12.30 to 2, I believe it is. Make sure that's right. But the function, you know, but I said, I know Buddy Carter's supposed to be on hand. It's supposed to be a lot of people on hand for the event. So looking forward to the events today. Okay. There will be a lot of uh, state officials out there. There will be a lot, of course, elected officials, appointed officials, state officials will be there from all over the state. Be our way of uh, thanking them for what they've done for Wayne County and uh, just a uh, great, great hospitality for them. A lot of local officials and local folks will be out there also at the uh, Clanton River Ranch, Trout Highway 169. Luncheons from 1230 to 2, 15th annual day for Wayne today. Always a great advance. I said a lot of people show up, so looking forward to it. Well, it's a little warm out there today. Let's hope the speakers stay away. Somebody just texted in and said Jake Fromm obviously doesn't uh, like what's going on in Athens with him. Uh, signing early, he's ready to make a difference. So did um, did he go ahead and sign already? 
can't sign. I didn't think you signed until the spring. He can't sign. Or early, late winter or something like that. I didn't, he's already committed. He's but committed. He's committed to signing day is what, in February or something like that? He can enroll early is what he's probably saying. You know, maybe enroll early. He can go in there and, and all these players and enroll early. I guess yeah, February. Yeah, as soon as their high school season. It's going to be the person's going to be interested if they were in a row early is Richard McCown over there at Liberty County because you know they won the state title in basketball last year. He's a very talented basketball player, and I'm sure Liberty County wants to see him play his senior year of basketball. Definitely at Liberty County, but I'm sure Athens would like to have him up there in a row and get ready for the football team as well because he's a very talented football player. So, but right now he's got football playoffs underway. Liberty County hits to the playoffs, but so Richard McCown. Will be in Athens next year, which will be he'll be fun to watch up there in Athens. Yeah. What position they can be playing there? Oh, he can play all kinds of positions. You know, the NRC with me, you know, they just consider him athlete. So you know, he could play secondary, could play offense, could play a lot of different places. Just athlete, okay. We need linemen though. We need big, three hundred and twenty pound, agile. We need linemen. <laughs> Hard nose, oh, get after yes, linemen is what we need. Please search the world over and find us some linemen can block. <laughs> Poor Nick Chubb. Where's my holes? It's a, it's a disaster. There's nothing but other jerseys in front of me. Where's my lineman? Lynn Hoss told me many years ago, the men up front don't block. It doesn't matter who the running back is. They ain't going nowhere. Not going nowhere. <laughs> How true that statement was 20 years ago, it remains true to this day. Oh. You don't block, you can't run. Okay, it says you can sign your financial papers early. So that's what Fromm signed. Okay. Uh, I don't think okay. He's just rolling in. He's just, yep, he's just getting ready to go. All right, appreciate that person uh, texting that in. Bob, have a good day. All right, the world famous Butch and Bob show brought to you by Lysie's Body Shop on Rainier Road and by a, um, also brought to you by Sonic Restaurant on South First Street. Stop by there for a great breakfast right now. By Jessup Premium Storage out in the Waycross Highway and by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. It's 8.30. Coming up soon, we'll give you a chance to win some tickets to the Wayne County Young Farmers Truck and Tractor Pool. Coming up Friday and Saturday nights at the J.C. Fairgrounds. We'll give those away in just a little bit. But right now, we're going to take a quick break and see what's happening in news from Fox News Radio. Fox News Radio. I'm Dave Anthony. They got a hero's welcome. The Cubs cheered, returning to Chicago a short while ago. Long-suffering fans loving it as the World Series trophy was held high hours after a dramatic Game 7 in Cleveland. I can't even tell you what it's like. It's just unbelievable. The Indians lost to the Cubs 8-7 to in 10 innings. Chicago had an early lead, but the Indians fought back, and then the Cubs scored two to ultimately win it in the 10th inning. It is the first World Series championship for the Cubs in 108 years. The commander of U.S. forces in Afghanistan is calling this heartbreaking. Two American troops killed last night. Fox's Jessica Gallagher is live in our Middle East Bureau. Dave, two U.S. service members were killed and two others wounded while embedded with Afghan troops. The Afghan forces came under fire when they were trying to clear a Taliban position in Kunduz. 26 civilians were also killed. There's been an uptick in attacks by the Taliban and other insurgents since withdrawal of U.S. combat troops from Afghanistan at the end of 2014. Dave. And Jessica, five days before the election, the CBS New York Times poll just out gives Hillary Clinton a three-point lead over Donald Trump. Other tracking polls have the race even closer. Convince everybody you can talk to to get out and vote. Clinton was in Nevada last night, also rallied in Arizona. Today it's off to North Carolina. Donald Trump will go there too after another rally in Florida where he joked his staff keeps telling him to stay on point. No side tracks, Donald. Nice and easy. Nice. Because I've been watching Hillary the last few days. She's totally on a hinge. We don't want any of that. The Republican will hold another rally in Florida before going off to North Carolina. Now, the Trump campaign is condemning the burning of a church in Greenville, Mississippi, that has mostly black parishioners. Someone spray-painted, vote Trump on the charred building. This is Fox News Radio. Fair and balanced. These days, you got to have a side hustle. And I'm not talking about a nine-to-five. I'm talking about driving with Uber. It's the ultimate side hustle. You want to earn extra money? Drive with Uber. Have a few spare hours here and there? Drive with Uber. You like the idea of being your own boss? Drive with Uber. You make a great boss. You're probably driving right now. You should be earning. If you want your car to start making you money, then visit uber.com slash drive now and get your side hustle on today. That's U-B-E-R dot com slash drive now. I'm Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans. Recently, mortgage rates have dropped to the second lowest level in history. The rate
rate today on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage is all the way down to 3.5%, APR 3.57%. It's a great time to refinance with Quicken Loans and save hundreds every month. So lock in this ultra-low rate before it goes back up. Call 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. MLS. ConsumerAccess.org. Number 3030. Months after British voters chose to leave the European Union, a court's decision may make that a little tougher. Fox's Simon Owens live in London. Dave, the High Court appeared just ruling that the British Prime Minister does not have the power to trigger the UK's departure from the European Union without holding a vote in Parliament first. Prime Minister Theresa May had said she'd begin the process in the next few months and would not consult lawmakers about it, but campaigners, including Gina Miller, challenged that. The result today is about all of us. It's about our United Kingdom and all our futures. The ruling risks derailing Theresa May's timetable and makes Brexit even more complicated. One of May's top ministers, Liam Fox, admitting... The government is disappointed by the court's judgment. ...but promising an appeal. Dave? Simon, American actor Steven Seagal is now also a Russian. President Putin awarded citizenship to Seagal, who's been a regular visitor to the country and has accompanied Putin to several martial arts events. Garth Brooks is back on top. We are so damn lucky to be part of this thing called Country Music. He was a big winner of the CMA Awards on ABC. <laughs> anniversary CMA Awards were full of nostalgia, tributes, and big honors. Garth Brooks took home the coveted Entertainer of the Year Award. Marin Morris won New Artist of the Year. Chris Stapleton is the new Male Artist of the Year. And Carrie Underwood takes the trophy for Female Artist. Mm -hmm. Underwood and her CMA co-host Brad Paisley kept the crowd entertained hosting for a ninth 